Bonjour tout le monde. Today we're going to look at describing a photo for the GCSE speaking exam. We've talked about this previously and about how to use the French present tense to describe the photo, reminding ourselves that in French there is only one present tense compared to English where we have two present tenses, such as he eats, he is eating, they play, they are playing. But we're going to look at this photo card from a previous GCSE exam and have a think about how we're going to start describing it. Remember, you are allowed to prepare your description before going into the exam and you can take your notes into the exam. So getting the description right um, is an important task. We have come up with an acronym. Place. People, location, activity, clothes and emotion as a sort of jumping off point for your description of the photo card. In your booklet, you have also got this list of core vocabulary specifically linked to a photo card. And as you can see, I have highlighted some of the vocabulary I want to use when I'm describing this card. So we've got une femme, a woman, un homme, a man, il sourit, they are smiling, and down here we've got the prepositions, which we had in the previous video. But I think today that I'm going to use à gauche on the left, à droite on the right, and au centre in the centre. I think these are going to be useful. But obviously, you will write your own description at some point, and it is up to you how you approach this. But place gives you an idea of where to begin. And I think starting with people is the obvious one. So I'm going to describe who is on this photo. So I can see that I've got um, two women and I've got a man. OK, so in answer to the question, parle-moi de la photo, tell me about the photo. I'm going to start by describing who is on the photo. So, sur la photo, il y a. Probably the best way to start the description of almost all these photo cards, on the photo there is, remember Ilia, there is or there are. So I have got three people, and I have got two women, and I have got a man. So, sur la photo, Ilia, trois personnes, three people, one man, un homme, et deux femmes. Okay. Sur la photo, il y a trois personnes, un homme et deux femmes. So now I'm going to add some detail about their appearance. Again, I'm going to stick to the vocabulary that I know, and I'm going to talk about the fact that she is wearing a shirt. These two are wearing sweatshirts. I think I might mention that she's got long hair, and these two, I'm going to mention that they are wearing glasses. Okay. Um, La femme à gauche. So here's my preposition. The woman on the left. Okay. I want to say is wearing a shirt. Now I have to be very careful here and just use the French present tense porte because that means wears or is wearing. La femme à gauche porte une chemise. And then I'm going to mention that she has got long hair. Et elle a les cheveux longs. Right. So then I said that I'm going to talk about the other two. Again, I'm going to need to use the prepositions to point out who I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to say that the woman in the centre is wearing glasses and so is the, the, the guy on the right. Okay. So there's my preposition, la femme au centre. And then I'm going to also add the man who's on the right. Oops, à droite. Now remember, I want to say they are wearing. So the temptation is to try and do something with that are, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to use the French present tense. Porte. Des lunettes. Okay, 
The woman in the centre and the man on the right are wearing porte des lunettes. Um, oh, and they're also wearing sweatshirts. Et des suites. So they're wearing glasses and sweatshirts. Now, that's a detailed start to the description of the photo. And I'm happy to leave that there. I think I've talked enough about um, who they are and what they're, what they're wearing. Okay, so the next thing I need to move on to is the location. Now, you may not be sure where they are. I personally think they're in a cafe. And if that is possible, then that's fine. Okay, so I am going to go with the idea of a cafe, but I am actually going to put in an opinion starter to show that this is my opinion. Je pense qu'ils sont. I think that they are in a cafe, dans un café. And then I'm going to look back at the photo and again talk about the woman here. She's, she's drinking. I'm going to say that that's a fruit juice. Again, I don't know, but it is possible. So I'm talking again about the woman on the left. I want to say she is drinking. I am tempted, obviously, to write a, and then do something with the verb to drink. But then I'm going to remember that I don't need to do that. All I need to say is bois, because that means drinks or is drinking. Um, un jus might be an orange juice. I don't know but it is possible, so I'm going to put that there, okay? Je pense qu'ils sont dans un café, et la femme à gauche boit un jus d'orange, okay? Um, I'm going to leave that there in terms of location, which means I'm now going to move on to the activity. What are they doing? Well, they've got out a laptop, we've got some books, we've got a phone here. So what I'm going to assume is that they are working. So... I'm going to say they are working. I'm going to use the French verb travailler. I'm going to remember that there is one present tense in French. Il travaille. They are working. Um, it's the woman in the centre who looks like she's working on the laptop. So I'm going to add that detail. The woman in the centre is using the laptop. The French verb is utiliser. I'm just going to use the present tense, utilise, and then I'm going to say that it's a laptop. Utilise un ordinateur portable. I can also um, say that I can see a phone and some books, but only if I have the vocabulary for that. Okay, so I'm using il y a again, there is or there are. Il y a aussi un portable, a phone, a des livres, some books on the table. So this answer is full of relevant detail and would get you a good mark. But I want to just show off my skills at this point And I'm going to add a line about E for emotion, okay? A lot of the time people seem to be quite happy in the photo cards, but be careful, there are instances where they're not. But fortunately here for me, they are happy. So I'm going to give my opinion on their mood. Another opinion starter, à mon avis, in my opinion, ils sont contents car ils sourient. In my opinion, they are happy because they are smiling. 
And here I've had to be very careful here. I don't need to say, find a French word for are, because il sourit means they are smiling. So there we have got a detailed description of the photo card covering people, location, activity, clothes and emotion. OK, so it's now over to you to have a go, but we're starting with this photo card, which we've done as a gap fill for you. OK, first things first, let's have a look at the words that need to go into these gaps. Can you spot the French present tense verbs here? OK. Can you spot the nouns? Can you spot which words are talking about the P-L-A-C-E? When looking at this photo, you need to form an opinion about where they are, what they're doing, um, describing the people, so one, two, three, four, five people, okay, and making a decision about what you're going to focus on in your description. So, if you feel confident about completing this gap fill, pause the video and off you go. I will now work through the gap fill and I also want you to identify which bits of this activity identify the people, location, the activity, the clothes in the emotion. Okay, off you go. Right, we're starting with sur la photo il y a. Just like in the previous description, I said that was a good place to start. Sur la photo, il y a des personnes. On the photo, there are some people. De something and something femme. So, two something and something women. So, I can actually work this out. So, I've got two men and I've got three women. Okay. Deux hommes. So, this one's done. And we said three women, okay? Et trois femmes. Tick them off as I go. Il something des portables. They something, some phones. Okay. Down here, I've got some verbs. I'm talking about they, so it's the verbs that end in ENT here. Are they sharing their phones? No, because they've each got their own phone, so it's obviously going to be Ils utilise. They are using. They are using phones. Je pense qu'il fait. When we use this verb il fait, we are generally talking about the weather. Okay. I quite like talking about the weather in the photo card. If it's obvious, if they're outside, you can add a line about the weather. And I'm quite a fan of that. So here we are talking about the weather. Je pense qu'il fait. So that immediately limits which um, words I'm going to talk about. Il fait chaud. It is hot. And then I'm going to explain why I think that it is hot. Car il something des t-shirts. Okay. I'm obviously trying to say they are wearing. So I need to find the verb down here that means they are wearing. And it's that one. Car il porte. Des t-shirts. Il y a aussi. There is also. Un something. Et je pense que c'est un something. Right, we've got these uh, uh here. So we're going to be looking for nouns. Looking at the photo, we have got a bike here. And here's the word for bike. Il y a aussi un vélo. Et je pense que c'est un parc. I'm making a judgment call here that it is a park. I don't know that, but it is possible that it's a park. Okay. So now I haven't got many um, gaps to go. One, two, three. À mon avis, il something, de something. Okay, I need to follow it with a verb here, a noun here, and then a verb here. À mon avis, il, and I've got partage, souris, photo. Sharing, smiling, photos. Il partage, they are sharing, photos. And they are what sort of photos? They are funny photos. And they're funny photos which make them smile. Okay. In my opinion, they are sharing photos. They are sharing funny photos and they are smiling. Okay. So there we have filled our gaps. 
can you identify the place acronym here? Okay, here are the people. We are talking about these people. The location, well, I decided that it was a park. What was their activity? They are using their phones and they are sharing photos. Clothes, I just briefly mentioned that they're wearing t-shirts and I link it to the good weather. And the emotion is down here. They are smiling. So again, a detailed description covering P-L-A-C-E. Right. So your final task is to look at this photo card, which is from a previous GCSE again. It's a bit similar to the first one. We've got laptops. We've got a mixture of men and women. And they could be in a cafe. They could be in a library. OK, it's up to you. But now it's your turn to write a description of this photo using people, location, activity, clothes and emotion. Remember that in your booklet you have got this core vocabulary list. Make sure you use that and good luck.